Hey, it's another Lego Welcome now. Come on in. So today I thought I would show you guys how I curl my hair using rag curls. So actually rag curls is my favorite method of curling my hair right now because my hair is very long. So if I get up, you can see it comes down all the way here. So if I put it in my back, I don't know if you'll be able to see. It comes very far down my back. When my hair is this long, it is very hard to curl and my hair, as you can see, this is it at its natural state. I just washed it, uh, put conditioner and then a little bit of hair oil and this is how straight it is naturally. So. so my favorite way of curling my hair right now is using rag curls. I find it is the easiest, especially when it is this long and also they're not that uncomfortable to sleep in. At least I'm okay with it. I've tried other things that are a lot more uncomfortable. So, but um, I do sleep with them in and usually I would do it maybe a little bit later than I'm doing right now, but I decided to wash my hair a little bit earlier so you guys can have a little bit of more natural light so you can see. And they will probably be in around 16, 18 hours in my hair and my hair is actually starting to dry a little bit so um, I probably should start putting them in really soon. So what you will need to do rag curls is rags. So I actually used a bed sheet, a clean bed sheet that I just cut into strips. I actually did end up sewing mine. I don't know if you'll be able to see. So there's some stitching all the way around. And that is just because they started to slowly unravel on me and then the thread from the sheet got wrapped into my hair and I ended up ripping out a little bit of hair. So that is why I ended up just sewing my sheets. So these are just cotton sheets. You can use t-shirts that you rip up and if you have a lot shorter hair like mine, you don't need long, long um, rags. However, you do want it to be like is it double your hair length or something like that? And when I did these, which is quite a while back, I did have shorter hair, but I just used the width of the sheet and cut them like that. So yeah, so you'll need those. And depending on how many curls you wanna make, that is how many strips you'll need. So if you just want like Victorian style curls, I think they're called, like the old fashioned way, they would only have, I think, three on each side. However, I want mine um, to be a little bit tighter, my curls, I want them to be a little bit tighter and that way they last longer on me because if I make really big curls, they don't last as long. And also I want mine to start a little bit higher up. A lot of people when they do kind of Victorian curls, they start like around here. I actually want mine to start as high as possible. Mine will slowly fall out a little bit. So when you put this in, they will start falling down a little bit over time and when you're sleeping and moving, but yes, I try to focus them very high up, as high as I can, and I add a little bit more of these than other people might. I'll actually link a few other people that I've seen try this. I think uh, she is Dutch, I can't remember her name, is it Loopsy? Her is the first video I think I saw doing rag curls, which made me curious, and then I saw uh, this beautiful, she is from Belgium, um, she has really, really curly hair, but beautiful curly hair. Um, Amber, what is her last name? I can't remember, but she has hair that I wish I would have. It's so beautiful. However, I never realized how much time you have to put into hair like that to keep it nice and luscious. So maybe it's a good thing I have straight hair because I don't know if I had the, you know, patience for hair <laughs> like that and have to take care of it so much. So, because I complain about my hair being a lot, um, no, I guess it's not, but yeah. <laughs> anyway, so yes, first you need rags, then a setting lotion. Um, I just use this from uh, Kutrin. It's Muato style design, silky texture sugar spray. So this is kind of, I guess, like a salt spray or something, but um, I really like this. It is a Finnish brand. I don't know if you can get it elsewhere, but any setting lotion that will keep your curl will do. I have tried a lot of body, but for me it didn't really work. Um, but I know a lot of people rave about it, but this is my uh, choice of setting lotion. I just dropped something. And to make it a little bit easier, you'll need a clip like this and I'll show you why. The last thing is just a hairbrush. Don't look at it. Mine, it's a bit dirty, but that's just so you can smooth out your hair a little bit. And uh, yeah, then also you might want to section your hair. Usually I actually start in the back of my hair, but I'm going to start in the front so you guys can 
see the first one well because if I start in the back it'll be a little bit harder for you to see so and for me because I won't be able to see what I'm doing but let's start with spraying this in the hair first so shake it up and I do spray a good amount of this in my hair and then I just usually brush it through so you can section your hair if you want I don't really do that because I don't really care about a perfect pattern in my hair I just wrap it as I go so if you're looking for somebody who does it really technically then I might not be the right person but I'm just showing you guys how I do it and let's start curling it so let's grab a section of your hair so or a strand of your hair I don't go too thick but I try not to go too thin either uh, just right like Goldilocks said and then you start so I'm going away from my face with the curl right so I'll put the rag with a bit of room because I will need a little bit of extra on top Ooh, I don't know maybe I should raise you up I don't know um, so yes so I leave a little bit of extra on top and I use my clip and I just clip it in so it will stay put when I start wrapping and then you just grab your um, rag and you start wrapping your hair around it so away from your face and I try to wrap it pretty high and tight if you want a looser curl you would do it a little bit looser but you just wrap wrap your hair around it so it's not very technical you <laughs> just do this And then when you get to the end, I usually leave a little bit out because I find it really hard to just wrap the last one. Then you'll just grab your rag in the same direction as you were wrapping your hair. So you'll put it up like this. Then you start wrapping it around your hair and you're going the same direction as you were wrapping your hair. So you're just going and you wrap it the whole way up and this is why you need a long rag and the looser your um, hair will be wrapped the longer this would be so um, running on a battery let's see if I can make this before my battery dies Ooh. I'm gonna remove the clip because it's getting away <laughs> if you can hear me oops anyway I'll just wrap it a little bit closer to my head just to secure it in. I feel like it's very long on this end. And I also try to be careful not to get any of my other hair wrapped in this. Um, I feel like this was a bit of a fail for the first one to show you guys. I should have left a little bit of a longer piece on top but I didn't. However, we are just gonna secure this now. So I'm just gonna tie a bow or whatever you like to be able to open it up. Since I only have this part that is as long, I'll just do it one loop. So yeah, so yeah, there you have the first rag curl. And I'm gonna change the battery in my camera because it's flashing, so one second. So now that you saw the first one, I'm just gonna do the second one, also kind of explaining it, showing it a little bit slower, and then after that, I'm probably just gonna try to film as much as possible while I'm wrapping without talking, because otherwise this video will be very long. So I'm just gonna grab my brush. Okay, so just I'm just gonna brush it. I'm gonna put it on this side. Let's split it up. There we go. Probably gonna brush it once more. The only problem I have usually when doing this is some of the other hair from the sections I'm not curling wanting to get into the wrap, which is sometimes a little bit annoying. So I'll just remind myself to leave a little bit more of the rag so I have something to tie. Because you could see how what happens if you don't have enough. And then I'm just gonna push the hair that I'm not wrapping back so it doesn't accidentally get tangled. And as you can see, I have my rag behind the hair so that the curl will wrap away from my face and then just go around and then start wrapping it around the rag and because my hair is so long this wrapping method and I don't take that big of hair pieces this does take me a little while
and then I have a tad bit left I'm just gonna start wrapping my rag around that so I usually try to make a little package underneath where my hair is and then I start wrapping it around and you go the same way that you were wrapping your hair so just go around and one thing which is pretty neat when you do this is because you are wrapping the hair it also kind of protects it from getting super frizzy so it's not open to the elements when you're sleeping and you're turning your head you know it doesn't rub against your hair so and for me these curls usually last a pretty decent amount of time um, I usually don't brush out my hair on the first day so I just try to separate them and stuff but I'll show you that tomorrow when I take them out but yeah I usually keep them in I'm just gonna move that took the clip out and just wrap the last piece and then yeah this is the only thing I always get my other hair caught up in the so I'm just doing a little knot like a simple knot and then just a bow so there you go it's just secured I look pretty don't I so I don't know if I mentioned this in the beginning of the video your hair needs to be a little bit damp nothing like major so I just washed it and then let it air dry for as long as I could until it started to get um, dry enough that I feel like it will set pretty quickly. I don't want it too wet because it will take forever to dry or it won't dry and then when I open the curl it will just go back to being straight because my hair is too wet. But um, I've made that mistake a few times. So you need to get it when it's right because if it's too dry it probably won't keep the curl as well. Um, I mean if you have a setting lotion that is like half water, half the setting lotion then it probably would be okay so anyway i am going to keep on doing this to my hair and i'll try to speed you through it i don't know how well i'll be able to capture it for you guys but i'll try my best so yeah enough blabbing i'll just speed through it because otherwise we'll be here forever so, so one thing i will say i usually actually watch tv while i'm doing this because i'm not doing a specific pattern or anything i don't really you know care that much of how it looks because it's not like people are going to see me like this except my husband so yeah I just do this while watching tv I find it a lot more interesting <laughs> than doing it by myself or I listen to music or something but yeah usually I watch tv so but yeah let's do this <laughs> So there you go the whole hair is done that's what it looks like in the back very sexy isn't it <laughs> so I actually had to do this a second time so when I got to the back of my hair I realized I had been taking too many small sections in the front and I was left with not enough of the fabrics in the back which would have meant that the curls would have been very big and that is the place where my hair usually goes flat the first so in the back of my head i usually end up with really flat hair the quickest so i prefer to have those a little bit smaller a little bit tighter the curls in the back and then in the front they can be a little bit bigger i don't mind of course i could also make more of these just rags and do that and use more but I prefer not to have that many because they are actually the smaller they get the smaller the curl gets the harder it is to take out so yes but um i do prefer so when you get a hang of it i might actually recommend that you start 
from the back if you have the same issues as me and your hair goes flat in the back quicker. I also find it easier to have the top part of my hair out of the way in the beginning so I don't accidentally wrap some hair up that I didn't mean to. So yeah, I am gonna cook dinner and do stuff like that and then sleep with these in my hair. And I'll see you guys tomorrow when we unwrap the hair so you can see the results. See you tomorrow. So it is the next day. I've slept with these in, as you may be able to see, some of them have moved a little bit. That is why I usually put them as high as possible in my hair because I do know that they usually move a little bit down and I also want the curl to come higher up and try to keep my hair a little bit away from my scalp because if it dries it flat against my scalp it has a tendency to also go very flat and get greasier quicker so let's start unraveling these I'm a little bit nervous so I would say when you do this take your time don't rush so if you're in a hurry the next day to take these out um, maybe don't do them uh, because you need to be gentle and sometimes there might be hair caught in the wrap and then you might be pulling out your hair and that's no fun and I've learned that the hard way so I usually try to do this when I know I have the next time time to do it or um, have enough time in the morning to unwrap them or then just wake up early enough so I have a while to do my hair even though it is pretty much done but yeah can you see? I usually just twist mine out. I know I've seen people be able to pull them out, but I do feel that the smaller the curl or the section that you choose, it also has a tendency to kind of get caught in the fabric. So that's why I usually just choose to roll them out like this. Whee! Come on. So there you go, the first curl. It is quite tight. I could have chosen a, maybe a little bit of a bigger section, but this is what it looks like. So then we just keep going. I don't know where to put these. <laughs> I don't have a table in front of me. Probably would be easier if I have a small table, so I wouldn't have to turn around every time I do something or put them on the floor or something. But. So that's the second one. So as you can see, it's not as tight as this one. It was a little bit of a bigger section. So, yeah. But as I said, I don't really care. I um, just do them as I go. I don't really measure out one inch sections per se. So, um, yeah. I am going to keep on doing this without talking so we can speed through it because, I mean, if I just hit hair blabbing it's gonna be a really long video so I'll show you this this is what can happen sometimes with the threads um, of the rag they get caught up in your hair and that is why I actually um, kind of uh, tried to fix mine so this wouldn't happen so much because it kept on twisting around this and also getting twisted in my hair so yeah that's not ideal because you don't want to rip your hair out so. last one Let's see. so there you go all the rags they are out i just keep mine in a laundry bag i probably should wash these because you do get some gunk on them when you use your hair products i actually feel like they came out um better at the ends so usually my ends have a tendency to get kind of caught on the fabric but i feel like they came out better because i remembered to put hair oil in my hair yesterday when i had washed it and it was a little bit dry not like super dry but like when it wasn't soaking wet uh, I added some oil to the ends so I actually feel like it came out pretty good <laughs> oh that's pretty um, hmm that one didn't come out that great where was that caught on anyway so this is what it looks like in the back 
Well, that's a little bit disappointing. I mean, this happens sometimes. So as you can see, this one did not come out with that great, but uh, yeah, that is what they look like. So what I usually do is I don't brush them out the first day because my hair is so flat and um, the curls fall out really quickly. So I usually just shake my hair, like shake them out a little bit, try to break them up. Um, because I have done the mistake of trying to brush it and make it look all pretty and then like the next day they they might be gone. Especially if it's really humid outside because I mean I live in Japan so that does happen. Sometimes I use a big tooth comb. I got this one just from Daiso so it's just one dollar. But just try with those to break up them but not like um, brush them out completely. Just separating them a little bit to get more volume into my hair I mean you could keep them as tight as you want I just don't like that style on myself personally so so to keep the curls overnight I usually just braid my hair I don't like putting it in a top knot I know some people do but I feel like it just pulls on my um, ends or my not my ends my on my scalp too much it's too heavy so yeah I prefer braiding it I'm a little bit bummed that this one didn't turn out that great, but it's okay. So as I said in the beginning, if you use sheets, you might want to hem the line a little bit, or I think that's what it's called, so it doesn't start to unravel because the, the strands or the thread might get caught in your hair and that's a pain to try to unwrap. So I would recommend to do that, but I really like the results. And now you can style it as you want. I usually just brush it back on the top and just you know put it with clips in last time I actually put it up with clips underneath and it was really nice and bouncy behind uh, in the back behind anyway uh, yeah I think I should go because I think I think you got the gist of it <laughs> so yeah so if you enjoyed the video please give it a thumbs up if you want to see more of me please hit that subscribe button I would love to have you join my little happy bubble of the internet and I hope you guys have a wonderful morning day night wherever you guys are and I hope to see you guys real soon hey do bye <laughs>